Hey. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for meeting with me. I know it's late and this was pretty last minute. I actually didn't consider what I'd do if you were sleeping or had other plans. Oh. You'd wake up and cancel them, would you? Without even knowing why I wanted to see you? Well, that's very knight in shining armor of you. It's beautiful out tonight, isn't it? I think I can even see the stars. You want to, um, lay down and look at the stars together? <laughs> sure. I love that. Ooh, you brought milk tea too? Oh, you're the best. My absolute favorite human. Come, sit here. I don't know much about identifying constellations. Do you? Hmm. I can't believe you're leaving this to me. Anyway, so that's the Big Dipper over there, I think. It just looks like a wonky ladle, but it's part of a much bigger picture, I think. The bears? I think they're called Ursa Major and Ursa Minor? No, I don't know why they're bears. <laughs> I think it's sweet there's two bears, though. That way they'll never have to be alone. Why'd I ask you here? Uh, it's kind of stupid. Well... You see, a little bit ago, I wasn't having the best day. I woke up late and had to skip breakfast. Then I had to work on this group project with a bunch of dummies who basically made me do everything. So, I was tired and angry until noon. And then there was traffic, so I got home super late. And then the hot water wouldn't turn on at home. And my little sister is ignoring me for some reason. And I got so frustrated and overwhelmed that I was crying. But then I thought about you and how everything would be better if I could just be with you for a little bit. I always feel better when I'm with you. I know it's super late. It's like midnight, but I'm glad you came. You're my best friend, you know. You bring me my favorite milk tea without asking. And when I do ask, you meet me for a midnight stroll without question. No matter what else is going on. I've always felt at ease beside you. Almost supernaturally at ease. Sorry if I'm not making much sense. Oh, I never make sense, do I? <laughs> Good. I just get lost in thought sometimes. It's hard to talk about without sounding just a little crazy, but sometimes we talk and I could swear we knew each other before, in like a past life somewhere, on another planet, and by some miracle, we ended up back here. Thanks. Super cheesy, I know. 
But it's how I feel. I can't help it. You're a good listener. <sighs> you know, last night, I had a dream we were up there in those stars. You and me. We were dancing, which is silly because I know you don't dance. And there were more stars above us, and they were so sparkly. There were other people there, but like, far away. Like, they were an audience. But it didn't feel like a performance. And you were silver, and your hair was a little bit longer. And there was a moment when the music paused. There was music too. It was an incredibly vivid dream, honestly. But the music paused, and the way you looked at me, it was like... Hmm. It was like, even among all those shining stars, I was the one thing you couldn't take your eyes off of. Kind of like the way you're looking at me right now. And then I said, I said, wow, it's easier to say in my dreams. I said, I love you. And it's true, I love you, but not just as a friend. I want to be with you, wrap my arms around you in the night and kiss you good morning, you know? And when we separate, I hope you miss me the way I miss you. You feel the same way? <laughs> That's... <clears throat> good to know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, uh... Can I come by your place for a hot shower? <laughs> Actually, that would be wonderful. <laughs> I'd love that. <laughs> 